All right, so back to this was part 37. Again, we're just continuing carrying on um, as per usual, right? Yeah, I mean, really, since the last part or more so, from what we've seen, um, again, we're really where the mods folks at right now is, again, the whole Adrian, Yuri, Shiro dilemma, right? And exactly what I anticipate or predicted is coming out to fruition that, you know, Yuri and Adrian are breaking up. I've stated, you know, if Yuri is going to let Shiro be Ken, you know, if you're if Shiro is the hill that Yuri wants to die on, then, you know, so be it. Right. But their relationship isn't sustainable. If she's going to do the one thing that Adrian requests her not to do because he's not comfortable with and she just does it anyway. Like, again, like there's no compromise there. There's no sacrifice. Like at the end of the day, it's not a sustainable relationship. And again, we, we saw that. Right. Um, again. Really, and I'm 100% back in Adrian here. Like, I feel like most people would. Like, again, it, it's just the the fact that, like, it, it's it's not like an unreasonable request, right, for Yuri to keep her distance from Shiro. I feel like that's the most fucking reasonable thing he could ask. But if anything, it's more of like a warning to Yuri, right? But, again, obviously the way the mod's going to portray it is that, oh, Yuri's the victim here. Oh, you know, it was all on Kai because Kai showed him the picture, which is like, I mean, the picture is just... Like the picture does just because he showed him the picture doesn't mean what is in the picture didn't happen, right? You know, again, but obviously, and again, I am going to make a black screen video on this mod, and it's literally going to be basically about its major flaw of like defending Shiro, like the mod really going out of its way to defend Shiro and like everything and make him seem like a victim when he's just in reality a horrible person. And with the exception of Kai, I think he's the worst person in this mod. Like, just in terms of being, like, human being-wise. Like, he's just a horrible human being, and you're not going to convince me otherwise. But, again, you know, exactly what I anticipated with Adrian and uh, Yuri came to pass, and Adrian's completely justifying it. Um, there, And I feel like, really, the only point in this where Adrian wasn't justified was him kind of blowing up at Randy, you know, and him talking to Yuri that way. But everything he said about Shiro, and as well as what he said now, is just like justified like i can't emphasize this enough that i'm 100 in agreement with adrian here so damn that's crazy you know yeah no shit like i she i fucking hate this man she so goddamn much like there's no way this dude's this bad in take two. Like, I'm going to play take two at some point. There's no way he's this fucking bad in that mod. Like, does Shiro not have the self-awareness that he's literally the reason they've broken up? Like, I, I don't know what else. Like, this man has zero fucking self-awareness. This man literally just, he's like corruption. He just fucking destroys everything he gets involved with. And he doesn't learn, right? You know? Yeah, literally, dude, like, who, like, you knew this, and only when consequences happen do people actually, re like, oh, no, you know, like, it's, he's so fucking stupid, dude. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock, dude, this man, this is why it's like, because it wasn't even like he couldn't even be part of the club, this is the crazy thing. The crazy thing was that Adrian wasn't even asking Yuri to leave the club, or Shiro to leave the club, just them to keep his distance, but of course that wasn't enough for Shiro, right, we saw him ogling her, you know. Of, like, I hate this man so goddamn much. Like, easily the biggest and the only, like, literally the only fucking flaw of this mod is the fact that it keeps fucking defending Shiro. Like, I actually despise this man so goddamn much. Like, he, he's such a fucking horrible person that the mod continues to defend it. It's crazy. Hold on, I didn't read this. So, yeah, literally, yes, dude. Th he does this to fucking everybody, right? In everything. Yeah, literally, Alex. At least he has some fucking self-awareness here. He literally fucking ruins everything he touches. Like, literally, yes. This dude fuck and here's yes, yes, he and he bought he 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 isn't, of course, he's not gonna change, right? You know, he doesn't change. He hasn't changed. You know, he's not gonna change, right? Like, we we know this. Like, Adrian's right in that sense. Like, Shiro's not gonna change. Like, no, it's not because you curse, it's because you're a horrible fucking person, you dumbass. You know, you do, you should hate yourself and you should change yourself. Like, you know, again, like,
And again, damn, you know, I, I know exactly what's going to happen. They're going to end up together by the mod, which literally proves that Adrian was right this whole time. It's shut the fuck up, dude. That's fucking crazy. Like, this is so crazy. Like, obviously, Kai's a fucking criminal. He just did blatantly illegal activity. But again, the mod, like, dude, this is what I, I actually like. I'm really concerned for the mod makers because this is the second fucking time. The first time was with the whole, you know, again, it was with the whole fucking anime club shit. Now it's with this. Like, they're going to try to pin it on Kai despite the fact that, like, in, because he took the photo, despite the fact that, like, the photo is just representative of what's being taken. Like, the photo, what's in the photo itself is irrespective of Kai. Like, you can't blame Kai when you are did the one thing specifically he asked you not to do, right? So, so it would seem, dude. Yeah, literally. And But here's the thing. Like, this is the problem. You are doing in this, in what she's saying that she did, she's doing exactly what Adrian told her not to do. So it doesn't matter that Kai took the fucking picture. She did. It was just the fact that he fucking found out what she did. Dude, this is fucking crazy. Like, I swear. And it's like, I don't know if it's like a woman thing too. Like, because it seems like, it, it seems like when it comes to like relationships, right? It seems like females are much more willing to hide and do shady shit. Like, and it's when they get found out and called out that like, you know, all of a sudden it's this issue, which that sounds crazy what I just said. But, you know, because it seems like guys are much more like overt versus covert. Where like, they'll, they'll, in or like, I talked about this when it came to, comes to cheating, right? Guys will just fucking cheat and they're like scumbags, right? You know, like, you know, but girls, it'll be like this thing to where exactly what we're seeing with Yuri and Shiro, right? To where she's going to end up with Shiro by the end of the mod. I'm calling it now. I figure that's like, you know, and they're going to portray Adrian as this like villain, right? The, but again, like, he then assumed I was in one convincing, but even if you weren't cheating, because again, we know she wasn't, right? And it wasn't that he thought she was cheating. It's that she was doing the one fucking thing he asked her not to do. Like, again, like, dude, this is crazy. This is actually, like, delude. This is borderline delusional. Because it was, like, dude, I fucking hate this shit. So I really hate this. I'm, I don't want to drop this mod down to D tier again. But this mod has a continuous issue of fucking, like, just completely misplacing blame. Like, this is, like, it's not that you were cheating. It's you're doing the fucking thing he asked you not to do. For whatever fucking time. Very clearly, it was something that you weren't willing to compromise on. So that's why I broke up. Like, I feel like it's more straightforward. But the mod just tries to construe it. Because obviously, Shiro can't be a fucking at fault here. He has to be a victim always. You know? You are. It's, dude. It's, you're terrible not because you couldn't fucking convince him. You're terrible because you did the one fucking thing he asked you not to do. That he wasn't comfortable with. That you weren't willing to make a sacrifice on. If you care about him that much, you would have stayed away from Shiro. This is what's crazy. If Adrian meant that much to Yuri, she would have stayed away from Shiro. But she didn't. So, you know, clearly he didn't mean... This is so fucking insane, dude. I, like, this mod is actually fucking insane. No! Like, if you were better, you would have just stayed away from him and done the one thing that, you know, made it not do the one thing that made him uncomfortable. This is insane, dude. Like, this is insane. It's not even Kai, like, because obviously, you know, him and Adrian have history, and we know Kai doesn't miss the opportunity for a get back, but Yuri has no one to blame by herself in this situation, because she literally did the one thing he told her not to do, and is surprised they broke up. Like, that's what's insane about this. Like, and of course, the mod's got to pin on Kai, because neither Yuri nor Shiro can be a fall. None of them can be a fall, right? You know, Shiro's this precious little fucking angel, right? You know, he can't be a fall for anything. Dude, it's this is fucking ridiculous. This is actually insane. This is like delusional. Like, wish he, but I wish I did more to bury that hatchet. What you mean, hold on? Because he didn't trust me. You know, I actually hate this shit so goddamn much. He decided to hurt. This is so fucking stupid. This is actually delusional. You're just fucking delusional because it pushed things to work out. You're not willing to make one single fucking sacrifice to make the relationship work that he said needed to happen. And you weren't able to do it. If anything, you weren't able to make things work out. Like, this is crazy. And also the fact that people feel as though they have an obligation to be in relationships or that other people... Are, like, the fact that she feels though Adrian has to be in, has an obligation to be in a fucking relationship with her when she's doing the exact thing he's telling her not to do is fucking insane and delusional. But, like, again, it's just insane. Like, I'm genuinely concerned, dude. 
the mod makers i really i really pray for that because it's very concerning how like they decide to assign blame when it came to this mod like this isn't even to the level of character faults and you know issues right this is like they're just have a you know they have a flawed worldview right that is literally a hundred percent on you like if that is literally on you you have no one to blame but yourself then you sh this is insane this is so delusional yuri's fucking delusional if it was that much you would have stayed away from shiro this is fucking insane like this is insane i'm 100 percent with adrian on this one like and i know exactly what's gonna happen shiro and yuri are gonna end up together by the end of this month literally that just proves adrian right like i'm 100 percent behind adrian dude it's crazy like i actually like i'm really concerned like spaghetto like i obviously i knew he's a big figure and like but like you know i never really watched his videos or roll with him but like i'm really concerned for him based on how they're assigning blame in this mod it's fucking crazy like it's crazy how they're portraying shiro and yuri as victims here oh wow that's actually the dude like i have zero idea how this fucking arc's gonna resolve everything dude I'm honestly, like, I really don't care at this point. Like, I, and also, again, Sam's way, you know, more full of color in this than fucking. Dude, I really, I fuck with Kai and Adrian hard. Like, I, everyone else I hate. Because of, dude, this mod, dude, uh, Randy, Kai, dude, Randy's gonna beat Kai's ass, though. Not even a lie. Like, there's no way. Kai lost to Shiro. Kai lost to the MC. Requiem for Truth. Gold Experience Requiem. Also, this is a new background we haven't seen. Dude, all right, what the hell is going on, bro? All right, dude, what the hell are these three doing? Like, there's literally nothing these three can do at this point. Like, obviously, you know, Randy's having a change of heart, you know, and sway, you know, right? Victor did what he needed to with the picture thing. Kai just got back and still, like, I don't even know why they're showing us these three because there's literally nothing they can do at this point. Like, so I don't know why we're getting this interaction. So, we're, shut the fuck up. Kai. No, Kai fucking got asked me, bro. There's no recovering from that. Like, I miss the attention. The fear that, dude, what the hell is he? All right, Kai's on some shit, bro. Like, you've only, been, yeah, dude. He's like, it's literally been like three days, dude. Like, a few days. Bro, dude, I took a few days because I was sick, dog. Like, you know, dude. All right, Kai, dude. Oh, my God. So. I had something of an epiphany. All right, dude, what the hell is he going to be? Dude, he's going to, Kai is going to say, is about to say the most delusional shit in existence. Watch. He's about to say the most just insane fucking, like, just like inept, like fucking delusional shit. The direction of our course is now clear. I must finish all my own business. What the hell are you doing? No shit, you're like, that's not epiphany. That's fucking like logic. Like, what is it? He's going to say Michael, right? He's going to say Michael. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's Sam. All right. That'd be fucking crazy if he said Sam. Because if he says Sam, that's just going to push Randy over the edge, right? But, I mean, my thinking is Mike. Well, all right. To be fair, he did, like, end that fight. But I don't know who it is. Who who would he be referring to? Maybe Adrian? I guess that would kind of time with Adrian, you know? Bro, what the hell is fucking... Uh, dude, this is why it's like, I don't fucking know what's happening. The fact that they tried to pin Adrian and Yuri's breakup on Kai just shows me how delusional the mod makers are. Granted, also, to be fair, uh, Shiro fucking... He fucked up Kai once, right? Uh, you know, he can fuck him up again. And I guess it's questionable what if Randy's gonna intervene, so... So, let's see. You're in the way, lard ass. Step aside. Yeah, dude, all right, kind of facts, though. That's why I'm like, dude, Kai is in no position to, like, make threats. He does not have a winning streak right now, you know? Where are you getting at? Like, dude, like, I hate how, like, the mob makers are delusional. Like, this is a hundred, like, the fact that this somehow got pinned on Kai is, like, insane to me. Like, the like it's actually ridiculous. The fact that they're angry at Kai for taking the picture, but not what was going on in the picture itself is fucking delusional. Like, the mod makers are delusional. Like, I think we've accepted that fact long ago. And it's genuinely concerning, you know. 
Because, like, I really am, like, curious. What happened to the Mon Makers? Like, what was their experience in life like to, for them to adopt such, like, a flawed worldview? Like, also, hold on. What did, what did Randy, you know... Very original, you know. But to Charlotte. All right, also, what the hell? Also, because I, I think the funny thing is, dude, I don't see how anyone's going to take down Jeremy by the end of this mod. I think Jeremy just solidifies his place as the president. Like, there's no way anyone's going to get Jeremy by the end of the mod. You know? Also, I think funny enough, you know, Anytime Shiro says something, all we need to do is go back to this interaction, right? This is why I hate Shiro so goddamn much. He has still not accepted the fact that he's, like, I don't even want to say part. Like, the main reason Kai's like he is. Shiro still has not accepted that. Like, I hate this. At least the mod acknowledges Kai is a horrible person. Like, Kai literally criminal, like, illegal activity, right? Like, Kai is probably the worst person in the mod solely for that fact. Shiro is easily number two, though. Like, and, but the mod just fails to seem to acknowledge that. Like, to it, Shiro's, like, this victim, like, that you should feel empathy and sympathy for, when in reality, he's, like, we got the two worst people in the mod on this fucking screen right now. And the mod only recognizes one of them. So. All right, who the fuck, you know. All right, you deserve it, bro. Like, I hate, Shiro deserves all of it. Like, you know. Bro, we're going to see these two fight. All right, bro. What the hell is going on, bro? So. Don't you go her. Hey, you know, that's, that's just fucking my hobby, bro. Like. And again, bro, like, listen, this Shiro's a fucking dumbass, bro. Like. Because Kai's biggest strength is his way to, you know, basically his sheer, he has two real strengths, right? One, he's witty and clever, right? You know, he's he's like a weasel, right? He's witty, he's clever, and he has sheer tenacity and determination to achieve, like, an end state. He's like a weasel. That'd be the best way to describe Kai. So them putting themselves in this situation just gives Kai an opportunity to take them all down, right? So... And bro, dude, I hate this model of fucking Kai, bro. I hate this model so goddamn much, bro. I actually, dude, I hate this stupid fucking model of Kai with his hand out. Like, touch the nerve there, you know? Emo boy toy. All right, fucking Adrian. You know, obviously, we know the beef Kai and Adrian have. But, like, I think what's crazy is still the fact that, like, dude, I hate, like, it's crazy how, like, Yuri puts this all on Kai when, like, again... The fact that they're angry at Kai for taking the picture, but not what they did, like, just shows how delusional they are. But, I mean, obviously, you know, Kai's just going to fucking turn this on its head, right? So. Damn, that's crazy. So. And again, what was he going to say? When we were in the fifth grade, so, I'm not even going to lie. Yuri might actually fuck up Kai. Like, Kai is not a fighter, dude. Like, Yuri, I wouldn't be surprised if Yuri fucked up Kai. Like, being entirely honest. So. Let's see. I mean, to me, literally, again. Like, and this is why it's like, I, I feel like there's such a lack of self-awareness and, like, self-accountability, right? Like, I, I really think Yuri's, like, an idiot. Like, I don't, she's delusional. Like, I don't know how else to put it. But, like, the fact that she, like, again, because, like, and this is what it comes down to, right? Because imagine if Yuri would have listened to, Ka like, Adrian. None of them would be in this situation. It was because she didn't listen to Adrian. She spent time with Shiro. Shiro made this brash decision, and now she's involved, and obviously Kai spin in this direction. It's literally all on her. Like, you know... Again, right? So...
literally that's on like again this is fucking i i hate the fact that they act as if the act of taking the picture but not what the picture was is like a a flaw like or like you know is that it's like logically sound it's like crazy but there are people in that way in real life you know it's like no accountability right like you get caught doing something bad it's on the person who caught you not you like that's what adds me the most, like. Who the fuck is Reynolds against Reynolds? Who am I? Am I stupid? Do we know a fucking Reynolds? Oh, it's Monica Reynolds. All right. I'm an idiot. So. Yeah, Rand Randy's like, all right, dude. Yeah, Randy, listen, because if Kai actually tries to fight them, he's a fucking, but, you know, Kai tried to fight Michael. So Randy's actually saving Kai in the situation. It's like, all right, bro, like, it's not that deep. Like, you know. Also, Shiro's a fucking idiot, dude. Like, yeah, you know, but also it's like, Yuri, like, is known to blame by herself. Yuri and Shiro have known to blame but for themselves. Again, it's the same exact fucking thing. Like, the mod acts as if Michael leaving the club is on the fault of Kai and that Michael has an obligation to stay up the club. It's the similar reason. They act as if Adrian leaving Yuri is on Kai and that Adrian has an obligation to stay with Yuri. Like, again, it's delusional. Like, this is, like, I'm really, like, I can't vibe with this mod. Like, I really can't because it's just so delusional in terms of who it assigns blame to. Obviously, I'm not defending Kai. Kai is literally a fucking criminal. Like, he's one of the few people who have done just blatantly illegal acts to this mod. But, like, he's not the only bad person here. Like, I have to knock this mod back down to D tier solely because of this. Like, like it, it corrected itself a bit. But still has this issue of just com being, like, completely delusional in who it assigns blame to. Like, the fact that it acts as if Shiro's a victim after all this time is still proof of that. And the fact that, you know, it acts as though, like... Kai's at fault for Adrian and Yuri's relationship is beyond me. Like, you know. And again, like, literally, fucking, you know. I see now. And also, but here's the problem. And Yuri's obviously going to put this all on Adrian because Adrian, like, oh, a uh, guy, he's at fault, right? You know, as per usual. But, like, Adrian was literally fucking right. Like, like, you know, I'm 100% behind Adrian. Like, it's actually, I'm 100% behind Adrian the same way I was 100% behind Michael. Like, Adrian 100% made the correct decision there. Like, if Yuri is going to do the one thing that makes him uncomfortable in what was a very reasonable request from him, like, the relationship is untenable. Like, she's not willing to make sacrifice, you know, in, or, like, you know, compromise in order to make it work out. So it's just not tenable. That's 100% on Yuri. Like, Yuri and Shiro are the reason their relationship didn't work. Like, Kai isn't a part of it. Like, you can't blame a dude who took a picture when you're, again, when the issue is with the content of that picture, right? Like, again, it's just ridiculous. Like, this mod is so fucking ridiculous. Like, I'm, there's no way Take Two is this bad. Like, no, this is literally just. This is delusional. Yuri's delusional. Like, you know, we, like, you, you know, what he asked, like, I can't emphasize enough this enough. Like, what Adrian asked was very reasonable. And she just wasn't willing to. Like, that was the hill she chose to die on. So he broke it off. Like, this isn't the fault of Adrian at all. Like, you can push it that way, but that's not how it is. And this is like, dude, this is why I don't even really date anymore. Because I swear, people are, like, delusional when it comes to that shit. Like, like, people aren't rational or reasonable. It's like, I swear, like, people are just fucking delusional with this, right? This is ridiculous. Because, like, now this is something that Yuri's going to 100% put on him and try to ruin his life because of it, right? And, of course, he's going to end up with Shiro by the end of this. You know? Just because of Kai. Like... Just almost throw my life away. Yeah, you're a fucking dumbass, dude. Shiro does not real Shiro, who could have known? Shiro not realizing he's a fucking idiot and ruins everything. Like, that's crazy. You know, he still hasn't accepted the things he's done. You know, like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, you're a dumbass, dude. Like, you're a fucking idiot. Like, 
You know, you, I, I'm, I told, what Shiro needs to fucking do, he needs to sit down, shut up, enjoy some at the club, make his way through the rest of high school. That's literally all he needs to do. And then make a new life in college. That's what Shiro needs to do at this point. But he's not going to because he doesn't fucking learn, you know, and he can't accept responsibility. Like, you know. Bruh, I, right, it's been a hot minute since we've seen this shit. Where the fuck did she come from? Like, where has she been this whole month? But here's the thing. Valerie's going to talk shit, but she flaked out of taking that picture of Charlotte. We still remember that. Bella had to step in and do it for her. But, you know, obviously we know fucking Valerie and Monica's history, right? So where the fuck did she, he come from? Like, you know, <laughs> all right, dude, Connor's like, all right, chill the fuck out. It's like 10 a.m., bro. We got class. Like, oh, Jesus. Bro, what the fuck? She's like, all right, I'm going to fight, you know? Damn, you know. Because here's the thing. Funny enough, we, like, Valerie acts, like, talks a big game and acts all top. But she wasn't, I think the interesting thing, she wasn't willing to take the photo of Charlotte. And she wasn't, she was barely willing to write again, you know, to forge the, uh, uh, what would you call it? The comments from Michael, right? But it took her thinking of her beef with like Monica in order to actually do that. So again, the interesting thing is, you know, she's obviously talking a big game right now due to her kind of own personal beef with Monica. But she doesn't really, she can't really back it up. Like, dumped by that emo loser, you know? Yeah, you, damn. All right, that's, all right. I'm not even gonna lie. That's an insane fucking clapback. Like, for as much as, for how delusional Yuri is, that's an insane fucking clapback. I can't even lie. Like, Yuri absolutely fucking annihilated her with that. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I gotta respect Yuri for that one. Fucking destroyed her. Like, you know. Uh, all right, shut the fuck up, she wrote. Shut up. <laughs> fucking, um, actually, all right, dude, shut the fuck up. She, shut up, please. Yeah, fucking, you know, I'm with that. Shut the fuck up, Shiro. You know? Yeah, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, yeah, dude. They're so rude. Wait, so, hold on. I'm, oh, all right. So, that's actually hilarious. So, this was literally the debate club room. That's why they showed up. So, they already worked up. Just another reason to put them down. So, you know, yeah, I was there. How the fuck do you think she followed them, dumbass? You know? And also, like, Connor's being reason. What did, hold on, what did... So I forgot, what did Kai ask Connor to do? To get the fucking, you know, baseball cards for the baseball team or whatever. Because I guess they lost them, you know, so they could get the baseball team under his thumb. I'm, I'm still going to keep saying this every time I see Connor, bro. The first actual black dude in one of these mods. But again, like that was what he asked of him. But also Connor's just, because he's part of the club, right? But I don't even know if he's with Valerie. But half decent opener, you know. All right, I mean, to be fair, and again, it's like, for as delusional this mod is when it comes to assigning blame, what it does do a good job is giving people reasonable motivations for doing what they do, right? Like, Valerie has a reasonable motivation in terms of hating Monica, right? You know, there's no, like, like, again, for as horrible of a job as it does this assigning blame, it, there's actually pretty reasonable motivations for most of the characters, right? Like, they're not just... Also, but, you know, we know the beef that Jeremy has on literally everybody, right? So. Also, again, Michael and Charlotte, you know. And again, like, that's why it's like, I feel like, like, Shiro, dude, Shiro's never going to learn. Like, wherever Shiro goes, he's just going to ruin the lives of everyone involved. Because he just doesn't fucking learn. He can't accept responsibility and change the person. Shiro literally just ruins the lives of fucking everyone. Like, I can't emphasize that enough. Like, you know. And people are going to say, oh, it's, you know, on other people. Like, it's literally on Shiro. I mean, you know. Obviously, you know, Monica, not really to that extent, but mostly Shiro. Right? You know. Yeah, Connor's like, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what the fuck you're saying right now. So... Let's see, you know, playing her part. But also, because again, at the end of the day, and this is 
what's still interesting because we know Valerie and Bella are the two people who can unravel everything because they're the people who actually directly forged the um took the photos and forged the um letter right you know so again so they're really like again they're the loose ends i'm still surprised guys and even like so much has talked with them yet but they're the loose ends who could unravel everything so they can't be putting themselves in like i mean valerie maybe she views this as kind of i guess even though she wasn't able to take this photo this is her kind of retribution for that but all right what the hell is going bro what the fuck is happening dude like damn bro Yeah, dude, that's why it's like, bro, what the hell? You're about to fucking fist fight a girl? Like, yeah, and Victor's even like, all right, Randy, like, all right, Randy's right here, dude. Like, you can't just be doing that. Like, you're, you know, sh uh, yeah, forget, dude, Kai has lost it. He's off the deep end. So, List, bro, dude, List is fucking crazy. Dude, this is like some fucking school shooter level activity. Like, that's insane. Like, he's got a list. Bro, that's crazy. Dude, he fucking pulls out a piece of paper. That's fucking insane. I'm not even gonna lie. It's like, there's like, Randy's like, am I the only one listening to this? Like, you know. But also, because they never responded with who Kai, his last old enemy was. Our assumption was either the MC or Sam. And then that's what's gonna cause Randy to, you know, jump ship, right? So, and again, so there's an R target and it's gotta be, it's literally gonna be Sam or Michael. I feel like it's not gonna be anyone else because he already took care of Adrian and everyone else involved. It's gonna be Sam or Michael. Like, I don't see who else it would be. So this is what, also, cause again, Sam literally didn't do anything. She's a literally fucking kid. Like if Kai just waits, she fucking dies. Like, but I mean, he doesn't know that. I mean, maybe he does, but. You know, and again, this is what's going to cause Randy to, you know, jump ship, right? So, she's the reason I lost my fight. She, bro, dude, all right, all right, Kai's gone off the deep end, bro. Like, like, Kai's, like, all right, yeah, Kai's lost it, man. Like, you know, it's like, oh, she got in the way. All right, to be fair, like, no, Michael still would have kicked his ass. Like, I don't know why Kai, like, tries to fight everyone. Like, I mean, okay, maybe, you know, fucking, what would you call it? Yeah, maybe if he goes after her for the whole innocence thing, but then that's just a repeat situation, right? So, yeah, and again, Victor, you know, that's why it's like fucking, like, Victor, like, for his, you know, because Victor doesn't, for, even though, you know, Victor doesn't have morals, right? You know, like, he was literally just like, all right, let her die. You know, even though Victor doesn't have morals, like, he's practical, right, and pragmatic, like, you know, he's like, all right, dude, like, you kind of made a fool of yourself, you know? Yeah, like, it's like, you're overcomplicating this. Like, no, you're not, dude. Like, Kai's like, I'm in absolute control as he's, like, fucking tweaking out. Like, you know, and again, funny enough, because if you think about it, right, I swear to God, we see Kai with these eyes more than we see him with his normal eyes, which is obviously, Think about it this way. Compared to this, we've only ever seen Jeremy once with these eyes, right? But Kai, it's like every other sentence. Like, and also it's like, yeah, like Randy's like, yeah, dude, like this is not a good look. Also, she literally has cancer. She's going to fucking die, right? Like, is a thankless, dude, all right, what the, all right, Kai is like on some shit. Like Kai has to be like on drugs or something. Like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about at this point. Like, Kai's completely lost me with whatever he's doing. Like, he's like, it's like, dude, you're a fucking high school student. It is not this deep. Like, you know. Bro, you got, like, three years to do this shit, bro. Like, what fucking year are they? Are they third years? Bro, this is, like, your last year at school. Like, you're, you're not going to accomplish all this. Like, I don't, that's why it's like, yeah, I mean, you're just going to have a repeat situation. So, and again, like this, this confirms, just also want to point out, this confirms what we knew the whole time that Victor was the one who destroyed her artwork, you know? All right, shut the fuck up. Like, you know, yeah, that's why it's like, you know, Randy's like kind of bringing up this point, like, okay, but also to be fair, we know most of what Kai did with Charlotte Shearer was personal. And it was part, part of the reason why, you know, she got that close was because 
again, you know, Kai, she got at Kai, right? You know, I, what, again, and this is why I'm saying like Kai, if he really like, if, if, you know, again, like what Kai should have done is immediately after that incident, rather than go after Michael, let the school go after him. He needs to cover his bases, Kai at loose ends with Valerie Bell, which he still hasn't done. And I'm like 80% sure it's going to be those two who are unravel everything. Right. So, Bro, why is Kai like just have Victor do it, bro? Like, and again, that like I feel like this is what we knew this whole time. Randy was gonna have a change of heart. Like, yeah, Rankin. Yeah, it's like, bro, Rankin's like, all right, why is it that everything happens involves you two? Like. Let's see. All right, who – so it's not – all right, who is it? Is it Michael? It's got to be Michael or someone, right? So – or imagine it's Kai. That'd be hilarious. Like, oh, it's like, all right, you know. So, because, again, you know, Connor himself has no beef or quarrel with Monica. He was actually kind of, you know, trying to get value to hold off. So, yeah, these two, you know, again, have, like, no beef, right? So – and is this going to be – all right, this actually has – this has the potential to become very interesting, right? Because what I can see happen is maybe Connor knows that Valerie forged that, and that's kind of the lead that they need, they need to unravel everything involving, you know, again, Charlotte and the MC, right? So – Pins on than Jenna was. I don't fucking, you know. Yeah, Caitlin Frost, you know. Yeah, dude, Jeremy, like, but also, I'm like, that would be very interesting is if Connor somehow figured out from value that she forged that, right? You know. And then again, you know, this is – so again, exactly what so was right. So it wasn't even that he knew. It's that he just suspected her based on this, that she may have forged that, right? So – and again, I think it's interesting that see, she's saying that even though, you know, she kind of wimped out on taking the picture, right? And she almost didn't end up forging it. And then again, this is exactly what I mean when I say Kai, what he needed to do – was tie up loose ends and cover his bases, and he did it. And look what happened now. It looks like Valerie is going to be kind of the loose end that unravels everything, right? So, again, you know, Valerie, yeah. So, because, again, funny enough, Monica even suspected that, right? You know, and she's even acknowledging here Valerie won lower self, which to be fair, she did it, right? It only was like at the last moment she followed through. So and again, I'm I'm gonna end here because that's very interesting. And that seemingly confirms what we thought and knew what was gonna happen this whole time. It looks like it's going to be Valor that's going to tear everything down, right? So, again, and really just telling us what we knew this, what was going to happen this whole time. But, again, I guess with that, we'll see in the next one, and we'll see kind of how this all ravel, unravels and plays out. But with that, I don't really have anything else to say. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.